From 1976 to 2003, Ted Turner was the owner of the Atlanta Braves. His tenure of an owner transformed the franchise and sports media in general. Major League Baseball and other professional sports leagues would not be where they are today if not for Ted Turner's contributions from a television's perspective. But this video isn't about that. I'll leave that for another time. This video is about the time Ted Turner named himself the manager of the Atlanta Braves. Turner bought the Braves prior to the 1976 season. He wasted no time in changing the team as he signed the biggest free agent in baseball, Andy Messersmith, as his first significant move as a new owner. He also replaced the old general manager and set off to build the Braves into a contender. It didn't go so well in the beginning. The Braves finished in last place in 76 and at that point hadn't won a playoff game in almost 20 years. The 1977 season got off to a positive start as the Braves were 8-5 through the first 13 games of the season. That 8-5 start would be the high point for the entire year. Following that 8-5 start, Atlanta went on to lose 17 consecutive games in a row. That's more than 10% of the season. That 17-game losing streak is tied for 6 most consecutive losses in the modern era. During that horrendous losing streak, the Braves were outscored 133-46 to and lost each game by an average of over 5 runs. That minus 87 run differential is the 15th worst by any team over a span of 17 games in the modern era. The Braves were, how you would say, terrible. After loss number 16, Turner had had enough. In his autobiography, Ted wrote, after losing our 16th straight game, I decided to shake things up. I thought about firing our manager, Dave Bristol, but instead, I decided to just give him some time off. After telling the press that Bristol was away on a scouting trip, I put on a Braves uniform and served as the team's field manager. One Braves executive at the time quoted saying, We were on a long losing streak, trying to figure out what to do about it, and Ted came in and said, I think I'm going to go manage the team. So he just put on a uniform and took over. I don't think there was a moment of it he didn't enjoy. That was baseball in 1977. If you were the owner and your team was struggling, go out and manage them yourself. This wasn't some publicity stunt or anything. Ted Turner actually put on a Braves uniform and managed the team. This wasn't for any promotion or press coverage. He really just wanted to turn his team around and make it the best it could be. What I love is he even has a managerial page on Baseball Reference. At this point, I want to mention that Turner had no prior experience in baseball or playing professional sports and had no business being in the dugout managing the Braves. Anyone in the Braves organization would have made a better fit for an interim manager than Ted. But hey, when you're the owner, you can do whatever you want. I must say, I do respect his decision to take charge of his own product. Something like this would never fly anywhere nowadays, and I doubt any owner would ever consider it. But that was Ted Turner. As successful as a businessman he was, Ted was also involved in his team. I give him credit for actually caring. Many sports owners today couldn't care less about their team, but Ted was so invested, he suited up for them. During the game, Ted basically had no idea what to do and was mostly there for support as he had to relay signs to one of the coaches. Think of him as a glorified cheerleader. He did use two pinch hitters and a pinch runner during the ninth inning of that game, the only real decisions he ever made as a manager. The Braves went on to lose that game 2-1 against the Pittsburgh Pirates, pushing their losing streak to 17 games. It was the first and last game Ted Turner ever managed in the big leagues. The morning after the game, National League President Chubb Feeney was not happy about this stunt. He sent a telegram to Turner that I could only imagine it saying, you better not do that again or I'm going to fight you. The telegram actually referenced an obscure rule. MLB Rule 20E which states, 
No manager or player on a club shall, directly or indirectly, own stock or any proprietary interest or have financial interest in the club by which the manager or player is employed except under an agreement approved by the commissioner. I bet that was the nice way of saying, never again. Turner's response to the telegram was, they must have put that rule in yesterday. He appealed the rule to the commissioner, but the ruling was upheld. Turner had planned to manage the team for 10 days, saying he wanted to find out what was wrong with the team, figuring most fans would have done the same. As bizarre and unusual this plan was, it really shows Turner's commitment to the club and how much he valued the team. I respect that, and it's something rare among owners in today's game. The Braves snapped their losing streak following Turner's only game as manager and ended up finishing the season with over 100 losses, dead last in the National League West. Turner would eventually find success as a big league owner, but as for managing, at least he's not the worst ever. <laughs>